Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is probably the worst setup I've ever done, but we're just gonna have to ignore that fact because, yeah, we have a video to film. Now, some of you asked me what was on my iPhone, and I showed you guys in the video, I'll have to go watch it, but it's my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, and then some of you are asking me, what's on your watch? Okay, I'll do that in the future, and then in a few days here, I'll film that video for you guys of what's on my watch, but honestly, even after having it for so long, I still do not have all the apps that I want on my watch on my watch. And then some of you guys were asking me what watch bands I have, so today I'm filming what watch bands I have on my Apple Watch and for my Apple Watch. So I have a few that my mother has over in her collection. We have tons of watch bands. I have been having an Apple Watch since 2015. So I am an experienced Apple Watch user. I'm experienced with the watch faces and everything. I say watch faces, I meant watch bands. And my watch is so dirty because I wear it to sleep. It gets like sweat and like dead skin on the back of it and it's really disgusting. And now my band does not want to come out. Okay, there's one band, and these bands are the bands that came with my watch. It is the Product Red Sport Band. Oh, finally I let go. Dang, it's dirty. And then my watch is right here, which I am going to be cleaning this later today in another video. There's videos going to be flying out this week. Um, I'll be showing you guys what's on my Apple Watch. I'll be showing you guys what kind of my band collection, and I'll also be showing you guys how to clean your Apple Watch. And for your bands, you just wanna wash with some warm water and soap. So that's my first band that came with my watch. So I'll go ahead and move my watch out of the way. I have this huge box, okay? And I mean huge box of watch accessories. Okay, so I like have this huge, huge box of watch accessories. So sorry, my phone is not on. Okay. So, you know, right here it is. Let me turn around. So here's my first band. It's like a glitter, iridescent, shining clay case. Like, look how pretty. I'm gonna put that on my watch today just because I feel like it would be cute with the red. So here is the first band, and this is not an Apple band. Most of these bands are not Apple because one of these bands costs 50 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I have the money for that, but why should I pay 50 bucks for a freaking silicone watch band whenever I don't need to do that? Whenever other brands has good ones that are cheaper, so that's that. I just do not like buying Apple's bands. The only bands that I would buy from Apple are like the Leather Loop and like Milanese and those like that. But like these are $50. Even those, like I think they should be like $70. But no, instead they're like really expensive. Those like Leather Loop ones are like $150. So anyway, but here is the watch with this band. I want to go ahead and I want to show you guys the watch with the band. So like I said, um, with my flashlight, you can, of course, see all those glitters and all of those microneals. I mean, it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep that band on my watch. And then as we go into my box here, I have this little box right here on the top. This is actually a lunch thing um, by the brand Systema, Systema, I don't know. But I have this Apple Watch little container thing up here. And my watch is not even put in there correctly. And I have this little manuals, and this is our repair packet that I got from my watch. It was a little repair packet. Um, and look at this. This is my first ever Apple Watch. Like this is the first ever watch that I bought. This was the original Apple Watch. It was the Apple Watch 38 millimeter K 7000 series aluminum ion X glass compatible bat or composite back serial and then it has my serial number. So 
as you can see, my battery swelled and it, and it pot and mom. I broke my top of my screen and it probably made the battery swell up and that made my, my whole entire screen on the top just pop off. And here are the connectors for the screen. So if I really wanted to, I could get this fixed, but the digital crown still does not roll hardly easy at all. The button, I guess the button does press, so the digital crown does not like to roll at all. It's, it's just really old um, and it's just ruined. Um, but here is this. This is the first ever gold Apple Watch that I bought. Then I got a stainless steel Apple Watch. Then I got a gold f f Series 3. Then I got my black Series 4. And now I have the red Series 6. And my black Series 4 went to my sister to use. And my Series 3 and... Go out to my grandmother, and she does not want a new watch. I even offered to get her one, and she does not want one. So, but here's the watch. Um, I just keep that in there just for my eyes. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first ever Apple Watch that I owned. And then the uh, the stainless steel one I sold for literally 20 bucks, which I regret because that thing was worth probably $800. I mean, that was just the most expensive watch I ever bought. In. And then in this little compartment back here, I have little cases. There's like a little clear case. There is a this case, which I actually want to see if it work on the series six. It should work on the six, but I want to make sure. Yep, it works. So all I mean, and then it turns with this like very pretty like rainbow chrome. Um, I got this at Walmart, and it's just so easy to pop on. You just have your buttons around the top, and then you just push, and it goes on. And a pull off, you just push at the top and pull. And then I have another clear case, which is like stained yellow. It got yellowing really, really quickly from me wearing it so often. And these are only compatible with the Series 3. They're more square. There's like a little silver one, a pink one, a like a, a gradient blue, and then we have a blue blue. So I always keep the Series 3s in there and the 4s over here. I put it down. I mean, this was like a really good thing for your watches. Um, and I just spray painted mine gold and the inside was originally purple. Okay. So now we're gonna jump into my bands, which is I have a lot, a lot, a lot of bands. So I have this like blue colored band. Um, this is on a pack out of Amazon. There's a lady selling these on Facebook, and girl, like, I love Facebook Marketplace. And I'm like, bitch, I'm coming to pick them up. So, and then I just got, like, all these different colors. So here is, this not that one. It's this one. No, it ain't. <laughs> Where is the other one? These are all mismatched. It would be nice to maybe do, like, an organization in here, but I don't have time for that, you know? So here is the first one. This is a lot darker on my camera. I kind of like brighten up my freaking camera. Thank you. I'll put my flashlight on them. There we go. They're more of that color. They're like, you know, a nice like medium blue. Not so much navy, but like a medium. And then I have my next color, which is gonna be this like little gradient color. This is from the brand Heyday. As you guys can see, a little branding. And this is from Target. I love this band. So right here is this one. So, so, so pretty. Nice gradient color. Will look amazing on the blue watch. My mother actually has the blue, so I have the red. My mother has the blue. So, where is this one? This one's like a little white and it has like a nice like little like orange and blue design. Of like triangles. I think it's right here. Nope. What is this one? I never wear this one. I found it. This one is like, like I said, like a little triangle on the bottom that's just plain white. It's a little hair. 
you. So that's that one. Pretty basic as well. Then we move into another Apple band, and this one came with my sister's watch, I'm pretty sure, um, or my mother's watch, I can't remember. And it's just a basic white leopard. Um, along with the medium size long piece. And the latch. And the reason why is because this one is medium large and this one is small medium and then you have your latch. And all these fit the 38 millimeter. My grandfather is the only one who has a 38, or I mean a 42, 42 slash 44. On my next watch, I got this one for I think 2017 or 2018 Christmas. I think it was 2017 Christmas. And this one is just a nice gradient down to clear, like a bluish jelly down to clear. And I honestly have not worn this band in a long time. My mother got me this for Christmas and I haven't worn it. I think I actually know the other pieces now. I think it's out there into that stand because there was a piece out there. Um, but here is the both and you can um, wear this. And I think it's really, really cute. I got a notification from my bank, give me a second. Come on, read my face. A transaction for $20 has been posted to your account. A transaction for two and nine twenty-eight has been posted. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Bills. So now we have this one, which actually has self-tanner on it. I'm um, from 2019 summer. It's crazy. I haven't actually cleaned this band since 2019 summer. It was one of my favorite bands to wear. And moving on, another Apple band. I love this color of Apple band. It was one of my favorites. But where is the other piece? Oh, there it is. So yeah, we have medium, large, we have the latch, and then we have small, medium, all together. Very pretty and gorge. Then we're on to my next band, which is like Apple. And these are more flimsy and more thin. They're not so much nicer. They're this from Amazon. It is not an Apple band, but this is a Nike, uh, copy Nike watch band with green and black. And honestly, I would rather go get these than the Apple band because I feel like these are less heavy and they're more like durable and they're more bendy, which I like, they're more flexible. One of my next bands is another band from Heyday from Target and it goes from blue to purple. And I got this one from Target. And it's like a Milanese loop, but it has a latch in it. It's like a, it's like a plastic latch. Or not a plastic, a metal. So right here is the other piece. And then what you would do is you would wrap it around your wrist and then you would bring this in and grab those hinges and stick them up on a little band. And then you would pull up. Oh, I put it on the wrong way. You would bring up on the latch and then you would latch in the band or something like that. I wouldn't know how to do it until I actually had the band on. On my next band, I have this one, which I, was my first non-Apple band I purchased from Best Buy. Oh, this thing is so old. That was from this gold watch. I guess the brand of this was, yeah, it was Casemate. That was the brand of this. I mean, it is like peeling off, all the like sticker. This ain't even like really gold. It's more of like beads. It's not like glitter is what I meant to say, not gold. I guess it does have some glitter in it, like reflectable glitter. But most of it's like pearls. This next band is not my band. It is my grandfather's Apple Watch band for his watch. As you can see though, this band is bigger than this band. Let's take a look, I'll show you. It's a 38 millimeter slash 40. And the one on top is for a 42 slash 44. It is a little bit bigger than the black. 
And this is from my grandfather's Apple Watch. And I'm just keeping it in here because he doesn't really have a special spot to keep all his bands. Oh, now we're getting that big chunky glitter that I spilled in here. Lovely. Love to get glitter everywhere. Next is this pink band, and I'm just gonna um, match up the purple. Where's that purple band at? Because I was wearing these two together one day, and my dog decided to grab my watch and chew up the bands up to probably like right here, and then spit it all out on my floor. Luckily, he did not eat it, and he did not get sick, but um, I did not have a pink and purple matching, but I just had the pink and purple together. So that explains that. Moving on to this one, this is a like pink sand um, colored one. That's kind of my gold series three Apple Watch. This is not one of my favorites. It's like a calm stone pink, which I would die for. I love this color. But where is the latch? Hmm, I don't see the latch in there. I'm just gonna lay it over here, I guess then. I don't have another white big band. I don't know why, but some of these do not have matches. I think that's probably why. Oh, that's why, because this is, the, this is the medium large. And I think the other one my sister has. It's the medium large, and my sister has the small medium and the latch. This is like a lighter pink color. This is also, I think, yep, yeah, it is from Heyday. And this one goes along with this, and you can put it on your watch. Nice light pink, like a pink drink. Then I have this bright red that was in that same package. And just like a bright product red, like my normal watch band. And now we're getting on this glitter, so we gotta watch out. And a little colored one. I don't even know where the heck the other piece is. This is from my stainless steel watch. If you guys can see, um, this is stainless steel on the top. And it, it was a leather band, and it totally got ruined. I wore this band so often, and I love this leather band. Those are classic buckle. That is proof that I have the watch. Well, I mean, I guess I could go buy it straight out today, but anyway, our next band is gonna be this one. It's like a black Melanie's Loop. It's not Apple's, it is from Walmart. This band next, uh, yeah, I think my, yep, my dog did chew this one. It was a heyday, like dream catcher, kind of like monogram um, kind of like heyday band from Target but I don't have the other end for that one either. This one has a just plain black band. And this one is just a plain navy blue with wherever the other piece is. Oh, there it is. Plain navy blue. This is the other one to that, to that like blue band. This one has like a purple down to pink, down to purple, down to blue, down to light pink, down to dark pink kind of gradient. I think the other end is out there in the cover. Here is this purple, like, lavender, cute, like, berry kind of colored um, Millennials Loop from Heyday again from that Target brand. And then here is a Velcro one that I got from Amazon. It's just a basic Velcro, like, cute little, like, berry pink color thing. And here is a one pink, um, like, rose, more like a deeper gold kind of palladium hardware kind of, like, thing. Millennials Loop again is my other Melanie's loop. It is the lighter pink shade of a pink, more like a rose gold. And then here is my actual apple, apple, yes, apple Melanie's loop, which is very thick. It's very heavy. It's very good weighted. It's very um, luxury. Um, and I'm upset because this one piece right here has a dent in it and it will not lock in my watch anymore. But this is an actual Apple Milanese loop and I mean, it is a really, really good, shiny, pure silver Milanese loop. And with that being said, that's the end of my watch bands. After all of those, do I have enough? And I still have more than that because my mother has her own collection over in her own box. With all of ours together, I would say mine together, I don't know how many I have, but I would say I probably have around maybe 30, 
30 to 50. I'd say 30 to 40, not 50. I guess I could have 50 um, matches. Like, look how much that is. But I'm still gonna be filling that up with more wash bands. So, and then I'm gonna put my top back in here, push down like a, like a normal box, and then pop my little watch. And now I'll go ahead and wrap this up. So anyway, guys, you can pick up one of these boxes at Walmart. It's just some basic, you can probably get a Target Systema um, box. That's the brand of this box. And then it was purple. I painted it rose gold. Because I thought rose gold was more pretty. So, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rock this like glitter colored watch band. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous on my watch. Let's look at that one more time with that flashlight. Let me go ahead and zoom in down there. Oh, wow. Look at that glitter. That glitter is so pretty. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, that is going to end out today's video. I'm going to go ahead and pop my watch and rock my pretty glittered band. And I will catch you guys in my next video because I got to film another video today. And that is what, how to clean your watch and then after I upload that video and I'm done filming then I have to make another video and that is going to be what's on my Apple watch <laughs> because right now my watch is pretty dirty and who wants to film a video with her dirty watch not me but yeah just like a normal buckle you just buckle it in and then you slide that through and then it has this little like rubber and it'll go in a little hole for you so like right there is the hole I personally like mine more moved downwards because I don't like all of that band coming out. And bam. Your watch is on with this cute silver band. I'm gonna loosen it by one. Because it is a little bit tight. And this rubber material does get a little bit um, annoying once in a while. It does actually start to get a little bit annoying, but I always keep it a little bit loose because it does get annoying on your wrist after a while of wearing the watch. But anyway, I'm really liking this watch. I love the glitter in it. I love everything about it. I think this one came from Target or maybe it was on Amazon. I think it was from Target. It was. But anyway, guys, I'll be showing you this on my watch later. I'm going to go ahead and change my watch face um, to my more favorite Apple watch face. Um, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Okay. Bye guys.